Anthony Hartwig here with a Howland Girl Soccer player profile. You know we had to talk to the AAC champs. <laughs> joined by a senior Ava Yanucci. Ava, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. All right, for the let's start it off. Right for the first time in your career, you are the outright AAC champions. You've won it by yourselves. What's that feel like? It's amazing. It's been a goal of ours for the past four years, especially us seniors. Um, we've come up short a few times. We've shared it with Canfield once. So to win it outright means everything to us. Yeah, this team has battled with Canfield your whole career, and you shared it like you said once. Uh, what's it like to kind of beat that team twice this year and to be able to, once again, be able to say AAC champs outright? Yeah, it felt great. We knew it would be a battle both games, and it was. But we knew this was our year, and we did it, and it felt great. You and the rest of the senior class, I'm sure you put your foot in the ground this year and said, this is going to be one of the goals. This is one of the things we want to accomplish before we graduate. What were some of the conversations heading into this season saying, these are the things we have to do to make sure that Howland is uh, crowned champs at the end of the year? Yeah, we knew it would be tough, and we knew every game would be a battle, not just the games against Canfield. You know, mm -hmm. we play in a really tough conference, so we knew every single game we would have to play our best. And so our coach says one half at a time, one game at a time, and we really did that this year and just played our best every half and every game, and it added up for us. Let's talk about being a senior, what it's like to kind of step into this year knowing that it's, it's your last ride, and what's it been like for you emotionally? Yeah, it's been fun, but it's also kind of been – it's been bittersweet, like knowing that it's the last one. But, you know, we knew we wanted it to be our best year yet, and so we just go out and have fun and enjoy ourselves with our teammates. We talk to a lot of seniors, and they all handle it differently. Some seniors say that it doesn't sink in until the, the last game pops up. Some seniors say they feel the reality of, of senior season the whole the whole year. What's it like for you? Do you think has it has it sunk in yet that you're a senior, or do you think it's not going to sink in until that last game comes up? Yeah, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. I think it'll really hit me once the last game, but really not yet. Senior night was pretty sad, but mm -hmm. it hasn't really hit me yet, I don't think. Yeah, let's talk about senior night and, and to just be able to have that night to just reflect on everything. What was, what was that night like for you? Yeah, it was so exciting. We – our senior class has been close and we've been best friends for years and we've played together for years. So just to like celebrate everyone together, it was so fun and it meant a lot to us because like we really are best friends. So it was so fun and the season's been so fun with everyone. This team has such a good senior class that is, like you said, has been playing together for so long. What's it been like going through this year with them and to be able to lead this team with them by your side? It's great because, like, we're not only best friends on the field but also off the field. And so it just means so much and we all share the same goals and we all want to do good. So it's been so fun, like, getting to do that and experience everything with them. And it's just been great. Some seniors go into the, that, that last year with a lot of responsibilities and a lot of pressure to lead. But because of this great senior class, you don't have that pressure. You have a lot of leaders on this team. Uh, what's that like for you, knowing that, yeah, you, you are a leader, you do have some responsibilities on your shoulders, but you don't have to do everything. You don't have to be the the uh, if and be all when it comes to leadership with this team. So what's that been like for you? It's been great because, like, we just get to lean on each other when we need something. And so it makes it so much easier just knowing that everyone, and not even just the seniors, like even our underclassmen, like everyone has the same goals and we all are, want to work towards that. So it's just been so much easier to just know we can rely on each other. How would you define your own leadership qualities? Like what kind of leader would you define yourself as? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I just lead, like, with how I play. And, like, I just want to bring my teammates with me and hope that they follow. When we do interviews next year and we we ask the next leaders, the next generation of leaders, you know, what it was like to be Ava's teammate and what kind of things they, 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 uh, they got from being your teammate, what do you hope their answer would be? I just hope that to play as a team, like to be a good teammate and just play as a team and for each other, I hope that's what they learn. Let's talk about you off the field a little bit. It's your senior year in the classroom. Uh, what have been some of your favorite subjects so far? Mm, I don't know. Probably. Hmm. 
I'm taking a forensics class this year, and that's actually been pretty fun and entertaining, and I'm actually really interested in that class. So that would probably be my favorite one this year so far. A lot of seniors do a lot of hard work the first three years so they can kind of, you know, take all the electives their senior year. Is, is Are you in that boat, or do you still have some hard classes to take care of before you graduate? Yeah, I definitely still have some hard classes this year, but I did take a few easier classes and electives to kind of lower the pressure this year. What's that been like, you know, to, to be a, a student athlete this year and, and to not have as much of a class? I'm sure even though you have some hard classes, it's not as much of a load as it was the first three years to be a student athlete. Um, so what's it like this year now that you have a couple of electives under your belt and you don't have to, you know, come home and maybe work for a couple of hours just to get classwork done after games? Yeah, it definitely is a lot better because I don't have as much homework to be doing like late after games because the past three years I've had to stay up pretty late doing homework after games. So it's definitely better to not have to do that this year. Well, who are some teachers that have impacted your journey along the way? Hmm. I've had a couple teachers. Mr. Chicomi, he's definitely a lot of our favorite teachers. He comes out to all of our soccer games and supports us. And he's definitely just been fun to have as a teacher in the classroom. So, And then as we expand on that, because not just teachers impacting your journey, but just people who have impacted your journey, who are some role models that you think you have, whether they be on the field or off the field? Um, Definitely my parents. Um, they always push me to be the best and just tell me to enjoy myself. And so they're definitely big role models and what do you think is like the biggest form of advice that you've gotten from them over your your career? Probably just to go out and enjoy yourself and have fun and work hard and just have fun would be the biggest piece of advice probably. You've had a lot of fun. You've worked really hard. And I'm sure there are days where you have not felt like you wanted to go out there and work, especially like maybe practices or, or off-season workouts. What are some things that – keep you driven on those days when you really don't feel like doing it I would definitely say my teammates like we're all just so close that like even on the days where we don't want to be at practice or we're just tired like we find ways to make it fun and it's just fun to go out there with my teammates and that's definitely what keeps us all going I think is each other what are some of your favorite like off the field memories with this team that, that have built such a strong bond with you guys um we have a soccer sleepover every year before the season starts and we do like a scavenger hunt. And that's definitely my favorite memory off the field with my teammates. It's so fun every year. And I would definitely say that's my favorite memory. Earlier you brought up your coaching staff. I want you to be able to talk about them and what they've meant to you as well and how much they've impacted your journey. Yeah, they've definitely meant a lot. Um, they push us every day and we wouldn't have the success we have without them. Like that's for sure. And they just know how to push us and how to get the best out of us. And it really helps us. What aspect of your game do you think you've grown the most in because you're coached by the coaches you are at Holland? I would definitely just say like my decision-making when I have the ball, like my coaches have definitely helped me like understand the game a lot better and like got me to understand like the correct passes to make and the correct, like just like understanding what I need to do and I'm on the ball. Since you're a senior, we have to talk about your future. What are some of some of the goals that you have after high school, some of the things that you want to accomplish? Well, I'm committed to Fairmont State to play soccer, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to major in yet, but I'm just looking forward to that. When we talk about your commitment, what, uh, what was some of the things that drew you to Fairmont State and some of the things that made you decide that that was where you wanted to go? I just definitely felt comfortable there. I know a few players there. I know the coach pretty well. So it just felt very comfortable to me, and that was really what made me decide on Fairmont. I'm sure it was a long recruitment process for you, and you dealt with a lot of the stress that comes with you know getting yourself out there and sending out the emails and talking to all these coaches. So when you committed, when you made that decision, what was that like for you to be able to finally know that you had a, you had a place that you were going to call home? Yeah, it was definitely exciting and just to do it before my senior season so I could just like relax and just play and enjoy myself was definitely, that was definitely good. When you made that decision, who was the first person that you told that you were committed? Um, My coach, I think. Yeah. 
Um, now, when when you go on the signing day and you you're assigned that name on the dotted line, what's that going to feel like for you to to make it official that that your dreams have come true? Yeah, it's going to feel great. Like just knowing like all the soccer I've played over the years and just like getting to that point is definitely going to feel good. I know senior year is always sad, but does it make it a little less emotional knowing that you still have soccer ahead of you in your career and that you're not ending your soccer career with high school? Yeah, it does. Like that last game, like obviously it's going to be hard because it'll be the last time I play with my teammates, but I know like it's not the last game I'll play. So it'll definitely make it feel a little better, I think. What excites you the most about soccer at the next level and being able to test yourself even more going into college soccer? Just definitely getting to like compete and work hard and keep trying to have success like that just excites me. All right. So one of the things I like to ask seniors is when you graduate, when you walk down that aisle and you think about your whole high school career, whether it be soccer, whether it be something that you did in the classroom, whether it be just something that you did with your friends, what's going to be some of the things that you're kind of the most proud of that you were able to accomplish that you were able to do throughout your high school career? Um, I don't know. Winning the conference this year by ourselves is definitely something that I'll be proud of. And I'll remember for a long time, like, we worked so hard for that, and it meant so much to us that I think us seniors, especially this year, like that'll be something that sticks with us for a long time. We know this week you're up for Baird Brothers Big Dog of the Valley, and your 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 uh, your community and your fans are voting hard for you. So I want to give you a chance to kind of give give a shout out to the fans on on why you they should go out out and vote for you for Big Dogs. Um, I don't know. Because <laughs> he's a superstar, that's why. Get out and vote. Uh, what's it mean to play play for this community and to play for these fans that, that do support you so much? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, we have such great fans at Highland, and it just means a lot when everyone comes out and supports us. My parents have been at every game. They're huge supporters. My friends, everyone. Like It just means so much to play for them. And all right, we end these player profiles the same way every time, Ava. We want to give you the chance to take the limelight off yourself a little bit and shine on the people in your life that you think have just played a huge role in getting to where, getting you to where you are. So I want to give you the time to give out thank yous and shout outs to the people that you think really deserve it. Yeah, um, definitely my parents. Um, they've supported me for so long, and that just means a lot to me. My coaches, they've been great, and all my teammates, like, I couldn't have any success that I do have without my teammates and my coaches. So definitely those people mean a lot to me. All right, Ava, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We appreciate it. We wish you the best of luck the rest of the senior season, and we can't wait to talk again real soon. Thank you so much.